psoriasis is a very common problem around the world. Um, for patients that don't have it and don't know it, it is a, basically a hyperproliferation or growth of the skin in certain locations on your skin, and it produces redness and sometimes silvery plaques and buildup of skin in certain areas. It can be very itchy, and it's not very becoming. People don't like it. <laughs> um, there's a variety of approaches to it. Uh, the conventional approaches are topical creams, uh, uh, tar creams, and UV light. So light therapy is very effective and used for that. Uh, in terms of natural approaches, uh, there are some studies that show that some herbs from traditional Chinese medicine can be very effective. Uh, indigo naturalis and Mahoni naturalis also are, are very effective. Uh, however, you have to be careful when you're buying things, uh, especially supplements that have been imported, especially from China and India, because they have shown that some of those are contaminated with heavy metals. So those are toxic. So you have to be careful uh, you know, when you do that and just make sure you're working with somebody that gets them from a reputable source. Um, other things that are effective actually is bathing in the Dead Sea. If you happen to be over in Israel, it works very well for that. It seems to be something about the salt content within the Dead Sea that uh, works very well with psoriasis. Uh, a lot of other herbs have been tried, but the evidence is really not out on that. You've probably, you may have heard of um, aloe, for example, or, or tried that, or other supplements like zinc and fish oil. Uh, the evidence is, is still mixed on that to see whether that helps. So those are some things that uh, I'd recommend for you in addition to the conventional treatments that you're getting. And if you need more information on that, I have put some information and summarized uh, some of the latest studies on my website.